So back under the car here, I want to do up these nuts for the exhaust flange. Obviously make sure that the gasket's in place. Um, I'm reusing that gasket, as I said earlier. Now mine's a little bit different. Something um, has obviously broken here in the past. So I have a, a bolt and a nut that I'm gonna use. Uh, it's not ideal, but it works okay. Now it's a bit hard to film this and do this job at the same time, but we're underneath the back of the engine here. This is the back of the intake. And there's a small bracket here with a bolt that just secures a rubber mount on the bottom of the intake. Um, that one will need to be done up, but it's a bit hard to get that one done on camera. There's also some wiring that clips on into here. Um, if the clips are broken, I suggest just zip tie them all up here, just so they don't fall down onto this drive shaft. Now it's really tough to see, but I want to undo the bleed screw that's for the radiator. And there's a little bung or a screw right in the top here. It's super hard to um, see. Um, but a long screwdriver coming in this way is, I find, the easiest way to get to it. Now, sometimes it can be incredibly tight and you need to put a, a little socket on it just to get it started. What comes out is that sort of a, uh, a bung. You want to make sure that that o-ring is in good condition before we put it back on. Uh, but I'm now going to just start topping up with coolant until we get some coolant coming out of that um, hole there. Now I'm just going to top this up with water um, initially. Um, I do want to replace this reservoir. I've got one on order and I do want to flush the whole system out. So I'm just going to put some water in it initially just to get it up and running, test for leaks before we flush it all out. Um, I've got a funnel that fits fairly tightly in here. So I'm actually sitting my water level up to about here. It's going to gurgle and bubble a fair bit once we start up because there's going to be lots of air locks. Um, also the heater core is not going to have water in it initially. Um, that's going to take a while to fill up. So we'll keep topping this up once we have started the car. Thing, I'm just going to reconnect the battery terminal. Make sure you have a door open or a window open because sometimes they do have a habit of just locking. Next thing I'm going to do is top it up with oil. I failed to record the filter being changed but we've got a brand new filter in here and I'm just going to top it up with oil. I like to top it up with oil as the very last step because I know it'll put a heap of oil on those cams and everything in the head. Um, so basically once I top it up with oil, I want to start it fairly promptly after that. Now I'm just topping it up with some cheaper oil. I'm probably going to give it an oil change in the first few hundred kilometers because um, there was a lot of that emulsified oil in there and you can't get it all out. cut back on. Now the next thing I'm going to do is crank the engine over on the starter. I don't have the coils plugged in so I'm not expecting this to start um, but what I do want to see is some oil pressure forming um, on the pressure light.
after that level of cranking, I'm fairly happy that um, we've got fuel coming up into the fuel rail. We've got um, oil getting pumped around. So I'm just gonna plug the coil pack back in and we'll see what happens when we start it up. So far so good, um, engine started quickly, it's idling smooth, it's idling a little bit fast but that idle will settle down soon enough. Um, I'm just going to want to let it heat up, keeping an eye on the coolant level. Um, I don't want it to get the full operating temperature um, but I do just want it to run for a little while. I can see plenty of oil getting flicked around up in there. Starting to get a little bit of smoke and steam off the engine. Um, that's normal. Uh, I've got a little bit of. Uh, I've also got a bit of steam coming out of the exhaust. Depending on how much coolant or what went down the exhaust, that's fairly expected too. So we're going to let this um, idle for a while. Then I'm going to take it for a drive. But other than that, um, we're done. We just want to watch coolant levels. I'm going to give it an oil change fairly quickly. Um, job done. Any questions, comments? Leave them down below.